Hey everybody, welcome to the vlog. It's been a minute, like actually over a year. I can't believe how fast time has gone. We have been busy, we've been having fun, we've been having challenges, we've been having real life stuff. So let's get you caught up. In the last year, I've been really enjoying some new hobbies, been doing some vinyl art and cricketing, been uh, doing some diamond art, doing a lot of reading, like 75 books this year, got a new tattoo, if you can call that a hobby, and just been having a lot of fun kind of getting my creative outlet on. The other thing we've been doing a lot of is spending time with my 16-year-old. He's now a driver, he's a freshman in college, and he's a junior in high school. So that's like, that's a full-time thing. And talk about full-time, uh, work has been so much fun. It's been really fulfilling gotten to do some larger events, which really brings me joy. Uh, lots more people are returning to the office kind of random days and just really kind of finding my groove at work. And that's been awesome. It's been really, really fun. So the other thing we've been up to, and if you subscribe to the channel, you might already know this, we've been traveling a lot. In the past year, I've been to 11 different cities in six different countries. And in the next two months, I'm going to go to another eight countries. So we're loving traveling. So glad the world's opened back up. So glad those airplane seats are still more comfortable and have lots more energy to do that. So really loving that side of uh, life and the ease that it's, that it is now. So let's catch up on my health. That has not been quite so fun. In the last year, I've had a 911 call. I've had three surgeries and I'm still recovering. I had knee surgery, actually I had two knee, sur knee surgeries this summer. And I'm still recovering, trying not to use it a lot, but trying to rehab and strengthen it. And it's just this like weird dynamic right now. And it's hurting a lot. And anyone that lives in chronic pain, you hear me like it makes me um, slightly more grumpy. My editor might agree. Um, <laughs> it's it's hard. It's just consuming. So um, that's a thing. I'm really thankful that. I've gone through this process and carry a lot less weight on me because I know that would just exasperate the whole problem. Anyway, so that's been kind of health in a nutshell, but let's talk about why today is special. Today is my four year surge anniversary. So four years ago today, I had BSG surgery and I am still maintaining 115 pounds lost. Super excited about that. At my lowest, I was 130 pounds lost and that was really awesome. Uh, but my body just said, nope, that's like not where it wants to be. Hadn't changed anything and it just kind of came back up and has, has leveled off. So I'm still working to get those last, like I could lose 10 pounds. I would be like, I would love that. And I'm working with my surgeon to, uh, to do that. So let's talk about him actually through this uh, whole journey. My community has been amazing. It's been so supportive. And I've even gotten a great friend who went from a follower on here to a friend to someone who has her own success story through surgery with uh, the same surgeon as me. So the community and the love is amazing. And I'm still seeing my surgeon four years post-op, still see him. We're actually kind of trying some different things to help me lose that last 10 pounds, especially while I can't be super active and mobile. Uh, he is able to prescribe different medications and we're kind of monitoring that process and seeing if there's any sweet spot that can just kind of jumpstart my body again. Surprisingly, and much to my chagrin, I haven't found anything that's like just the silver bullet and that works perfect. And maybe I just need to accept that like, screw the scale. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I have energy. And that's what it's going to be. So interesting enough, you know, at four years, it is still a mental game and something that you kind of have to reconcile with of, of the relationship with food and how you feel and where's your like happy spot. It can't be based on a scale necessarily, or even the BMI chart at good old physician's offices. Those like, I wish we could just throw those out. But at four years, here I am still loving my decision to do this still having more energy, even while I'm in pain and even while I'm working full time and have a teenager and an active family, just so, so grateful for that and the support and the community that I'm a part of. Got to see maintenance. It's no joke. It's still hard. And I actually found it was a little easier to lose than maintain. And I don't want to discourage you, but just want to be real. Like it's a little hard when you get into your normal groove 
but you can do it and surround yourself by good, um, positive people and good food and you'll get there too. So I hope you find this encouraging. It's so great to catch up and uh, stay healthy, stay happy, take care.